Hi, I'm creating this video for somebody who asked about how to put up their hair during Marine Corps Officer Candidate School. Um, the two most common ways are the sock bun, which you would use a sock, roll it up in this donut looking thing and create a bun. If you want to know how to do a sock bun, look for a YouTube video on it. Um, the other most common way is just the wrap, which is to put your hair in a ponytail and wrap it around the base of the ponytail and make a bun. When I was at OCS, um, neither method really worked for me. I have very thick hair, even though it doesn't look like it. Um, any hair cutter or stylist who touches my hair says, wow, your hair is thick. And I just cut off about four inches, so generally it's pretty long also. Um, I panicked for a little while at OCS. Um, every girl seemed to have a way that they felt comfortable with to put up their hair. Um, eventually, when you get there, you know, um, I didn't feel comfortable. I couldn't get a sock bun out right. I couldn't get a wrap right. My hair was just so thick and there was so much of it and I was not cutting off my hair. So I felt pretty hopeless until some other candidate suggested the double twisty, or what she called the double twisty. Um, I'm going to try to replicate that for you right now. Um, just for the record, I am not a Marine. I did attend officer candidate school and got sent home with stress fractures, but I was there, and this is how I put up my hair pretty much every day, or once every two days, and I would just hairspray it and leave it for as long as I could. So, um, okay, first your hair must be wet, like out of the shower wet, towel dry it a little bit, and brush it out get all the knots out of it, whatever. Um, the second thing you must do, besides your hair being wet, is you must put a ton of gel in your hair. I mean a ton. Get like a really, I think I used Garnier Fructis, um, what was it, like cactus hair. Um, just put a ton of gel in your hair, so much that you think it's gross. I'm not going to do that now because I don't want to have to wash out the gel out of my hair. So, after you put all the gel in your hair, you're going to take a tight ponytail, preferably the color of your hair, black seems to be fine, and you're going to smooth out your hair. Again, remember, you should have gel. And then you're just going to create a ponytail. Now remember, you can't make the ponytail too high. You have to fit your Kevlar on, your cover, whatever's going on your head. Um, you have to be able to put it on your head. So pretty much my cover would come down about here. I'm going to put my ponytail right below it. Um, okay, so the next step is to split your ponytail in two. This also might not work that well because I have an angle in my hair right now. There might be little pieces sticking out, but this is just to give you the general idea. You're going to split your hair into two pieces, almost like you're making pigtails. But remember, you have the ponytail in the back. And what you're going to do, I'm going to try to turn around for you. Okay. You're going to take one piece, and I always mix up the way you spin it. You just want to spin them in the same direction, so you're going to, I'm spinning this clockwise, and I'm going to hold it up straight up in the air. Then I'm going to take the other piece, I'm also going to rotate it, spin it clockwise, twist it clockwise, and then I'm going to come up and over the first piece. I'm going to grab it from behind while I'm spinning, twisting, and I'm going to come down. Come down. Okay, and now I'm gonna just continue. So you maybe have to twist it the other way. They just have to both be going the same way. I'm gonna continue and twist around. Now, I am supposed to have another ponytail ready. So I'm gonna twist, 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 twist until it's tight. I'm gonna put a tight ponytail around the base. I'm going to hold that there. I'm going to grab another ponytail. I'm going to put another one. And 
Let's see. I can't really see it myself, but from the front it looks good, actually. Not bad. Um, and in the back, you know, if there's hair sticking out, again, I said I have an angle right now, so there's probably little pieces of hair. I actually always had little pieces of hair sticking out. The way I fixed that was with a ton of hairspray and gel. Um, a lot of people use bobby pins. I never really got the hang of bobby pins, and then you would have to pick all the bobby pins out of your hair when you want to take your hair down. I just sprayed and gelled everything, bobby pin here and there if I needed it. Um, the most important thing is that you don't have any wisps, that you gel this all back, you know, and really, I guess ideally I would use probably another ponytail holder, maybe one that I can wrap that's a little looser so you can wrap it around twice. Also, ideally you want to have ponytail colors, the same color as your hair or maybe even clear because um, you can't have any ponytails showing. Now, the way I did it, since I wrapped it around the base, I don't think any ponytail is showing. I mean, any ponytail holder is showing. Um, if I had, if I, if I couldn't fit all the hair in, if I didn't have the twist right, and I had to put the ponytail around here, um, then it would be showing, it would be unacceptable, whatever. So pretty much my whole entire ponytail is all around the base. It should be pretty much hidden. Might be showing over here. Um, it's pretty secure. Oh, not secure. <laughs> but um, it was secure every day I went to OCS. So like I said, with a ton of gel and... <laughs> I might even try that again because, let's see, wrap around, I'm going to come around, twist the same way, there we go. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put one that's looser and I'm going to double double it up. Okay, that feels a lot tighter. Okay, so like I said, I had one around the base. I doubled up another one. Um, it might be kind of the point is not to just put it only around the base, but also around. Uh, I have some hair sticking out, but like I said, I have no hairspray. Um, for the most part, it's tight. It's not going anywhere. Looks professional enough. Um, looks kind of funky, I think, with the double twists. But that's it. I can shake my head around. It's not going anywhere this time. Um, so like I said, kind of tricky to get the hang of. Obviously it fell out the first time, but once you get the hang of it, um, you get the hang of it. And this is how I had my hair up every single day in off Chicago school. I never got shit for my hair. I was actually pointed out once, um, taking the slack from my platoon and the sergeant searchers commented, you know, kind of behind my back, like, oh, well, she's the only one whose hair looks, you know, actually halfway decent, which is a compliment at OCS if they say halfway decent. That's good, you know, so the whole idea is you want to look professional, you want to not stand out, you know. Less things they have to pick on you about, the better, you know, not that they're not going to pick on you, but you look professional, you know, you look squared away, you'll be good to go. So I hope that helps, and that's it. Thanks.